For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Matthew 25, verse 35 through 36. Ecuador Jesus Loves You is a project that responds to the call made by Jesus to attend the needs of those who are suffering. The mission trip took place with the help and support of Fresno Central Church, Fresno Hispanic Remnant Church, and Funde, all with the purpose that others may learn about Jesus' love. Yes, Ecuador, Jesus loves you. The beginning of this mission trip in Ecuador starts in the capital city of Quito. Ecuador has an approximate population of 15 million. The day after we arrived, our first task was to promote what our mission trip was at the Adventist radio station Nuevo Tiempo. However, the most exciting part was yet to come. Soon we would be partying to our missionary destination. There, our group of missionaries, which consisted of a large amount of Fresno Central Church members and local volunteers, would be offering their services in five different towns that were affected by the earthquake back in April of 2016. We arrived in a small town named Tonchihue on the coast of Ecuador. There, our mornings consisted of group devotional meetings and also meetings to plan out our daily activities. Our first Sabbath there, we visited the local church. We were able to recognize the necessities of the people and share with them the love of Jesus. At the church, we were able to distribute 90 family care baskets to the church members that had the most necessities. During the afternoon, we were able to visit Muizne, the city where we would hold the health fair. We also saw the houses and buildings that were affected by the earthquake. While being there, it was evident what the people's needs were. we were able to give away reading glasses offer medical attention such as family medicine gynecology pediatrics, physical therapy, and give away medication to those who needed them. Another town that we visited was Atacames, where we were able to offer the same medical services to that community.
continued our journey in the town of Barsalito, an area separated from the city and where poverty was much more noticeable. Medical attention was offered here as well. We were also able to share with the children the different songs and stories from the Bible. Hi, my name is Savannah and I am from the Fresno Central Church and I am one of the coordinators of this mission trip. The first community that we went to was Muisne and that was the place that we did the most work. We were there from about 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. working with patients and something that I noticed is there are people who have suffered a lot. They've suffered a lot in the past year and a half with earthquakes and um, they haven't been attended to by the government. A lot of them feel forgotten and you can see it in their face. Normally a lot of the people here are very happy and smiling all the time but these ones you can just see the emptiness and the sadness in their eyes and when they received, whether it was even a pair of glasses or medical attention, um, you could see the sparkle, sparkle come back into their eyes. And it was just such a beautiful thing to see. And I know that there's so many other places in this country and in this world that need that. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Pombo. I am from Oakhurst, California, and I'm here in Ecuador helping out um, doing some mission work. Um, what I just did was just teach some English classes, which is something I've never done before. Um, it was really intense at first, really hard, um, because I didn't know what I was doing, but as I progressed through the day, it got easier and got better. And I loved um, seeing the kids learn and seeing them practice English. It was, it was a lot of fun. Our fourth day consisted of visiting two local schools in Tonchiwe. We were able to have sessions with the students with topics about health, God, and even some English classes. On our fifth day, we visited our last location, Las Delicias. There, families were waiting for us at a small elementary school. The students, along with their parents, were there to receive medical attention. The innocence of the children was reflected upon each one of their faces. Their happiness was displayed while playing and having fun with objects that we consider so simple. Once again, we were able to offer physical therapy, medical attention, and free medication. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to serve you, to be able to make new friends, to see smiles and hope upon the lives of those who were in need. What a blessing it is to give because it is better to give than to receive. Until next time, Ecuador.